Title? Harry Potter Hall. Oh. Table and everything? Yeah. Hello, bookworms! Today I'm going to be doing a Harry Potter haul video for you. The reason that I wanted to film this is it's not the biggest haul, but I just picked up a new set of Harry Potter books. Yes, another set of Harry Potter books. But these covers are actually my second favorite of all of the ones that I own. And funny thing about that, <laughs> so when I was breaking the news to Andrew that there were seven more Harry Potter books on their way to us. I was like, but you don't understand, like, the original covers will always be my favorite because of the nostalgia value and that that's what I grew up reading. And also, I just think that the artwork on those is, like, unbeatable. But I was like, but these ones are so nice. They're, like, my second favorite set that I've ever seen. They're so gorgeous. And he was like, whoa, 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 whoa. So what you're saying is <laughs> you've bought all of these sets of Harry Potter and you have liked none of them as much as the original set that you've had. And I was like, well, it sounds really bad when you say it like that, but yes. <laughs> but anyway, so these new editions that I got, unfortunately, are ones that I'm not going to be able to read because they are in German. There are new German editions they are the 20th anniversary editions, and they're honestly the best Harry Potter cover art that I have ever seen, next to Mary Grand Prix's original artwork, in my personal opinion. I think that each one represents the elements from the books very well. I love the topography, I love the spines, I love everything about them, so now I'm gonna show them to you. So first here we have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This one is red. I love, like, again, the gold topography. We've got Hermione down there, we've got Ron holding scabbers, we've got the Hogwarts Express. We've got Harry up here next to a golden snitch and the Hogwarts castle. Like I just feel like there's so much detail that is put into this cover and it's like it just speaks to me. I think it's so beautiful and they're also hard covers which is really nice and they don't have dust jackets. The artwork is actually printed onto the physical hardcover which I really like because then you can read it in public without worrying about ruining the dust jacket. This here is the spine especially all lined up together. I think that they're so gorgeous. I'm probably gonna be saying that a lot throughout this video so just get ready. And then here we have the back cover which has our Hogwarts crest. Then we've got an owl and some Hogwarts acceptance letters and just the borders and everything are so pretty and I think that they look like kind of like those old like leather bound books but like more modern but in that like really pretty old style. So anyway this is the first one. Then we've got Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and on this one we've got Harry and Hedwig, we've got the flying car, we've got Dobby holding Harry's mail that he never gave to him, we've got a very very sad looking moaning myrtle. We have the chamber over here and this one's in like a, a dark green scheme. Then we have spine here and we've got the little flying car. Then the back we've got Hagrid holding this little tiny umbrella and again we've got the Hogwarts house crest and again just so pretty. Then we've got my favorite book Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So we've got Harry, we've got a wanted poster here for Sirius Black, we've got a time turner, we've got Harry's Patronus down there, we've got the night bus, and we've got the Grim or Sirius as we know. I think the time turner is particularly like really a gorgeous interpretation of it. It just looks like such an exquisite piece of jewelry. Then we have our spine, which also has the time turner on it. Then we have our back cover, and we've got Professor McGonagall down here casting a little spell. Next is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, and this one has Harry, Ron, and Hermione at the Quidditch World Cup, and I really like that they're all like decked out in their Ireland gear. I think that's really, really cute. We've also got the uh, golden egg that we know is from the Triwizard Tournament. There's even We've got some more Weasleys back there. See their red hair. Then we have a very frightening looking Moody, as well as Peter Pettigrew. And then we also have this little haunted maze. Then on the spine, we have the golden egg once again. And then flipping over, Mr. Cedric Diggory. He's even handsome in the illustration. Then I have Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. So we have a very scary Dementor that looks like it's coming to kiss Harry. We also have one of the uh, decrees from Professor Umbridge. Scary lady. Speak of the devil. She's down there in all of her pink, God, I was gonna say glory, but ooh. Then we've got Miss Bellatrix Lestrange over here looking a little crazy, and we have the court 
in the Ministry of Magic. Then on the spine, we have the decree again. And then on the back, we've got the Weasley twins because they pull some wonderful schemes in this book. <laughs> then I have Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. So we've got Harry Potter. He is holding his little jar of Felix Felicities. I can never say that, but you know, the, the luck potion. And he's got an open little book there. We've got Draco Malfoy. We've got Ginny Weasley. We also have the cave and we all know what happens there. Oh, did I say journal? Because obviously that's like the journal of the Half-Blood Prince. So we've also got the journal of the Half-Blood Prince on the spine. And then on the back here, we've got Professor Dumbledore. And then lastly is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. And this one has Voldemort and Nagini on the top next to a very angry looking Harry Potter. Then at the bottom, we've got Snape. We've got my favorite Luna Lovegood with her adorable dirigible earrings. We've also got the skyscape of the Hogwarts castle, but it's clearly during the Battle of Hogwarts because it looks like it is just up in flames. Then on the side here, we've got Nagini on the spine, and on the back we have Mr. Neville Longbottom holding the sword of Gryffindor. I just feel like these books captured so many of the characters within it on the artwork, whereas the original books we don't really get much more than just like the main characters, so it's nice to see everyone kind of represented, and I just really love all of like the little important nods and artifacts and everything and like I said I just think that they look so beautiful together let's see if I can even hold them all at the same time because heavy but like look at those they look so nice together that's gonna be gorgeous on my Harry Potter bookshelf I am in love and I stand by my decision to buy these even though I can't read them then I have two more things to show you in addition to the book so like I said it's a small haul I don't know exciting things wanted to share so I ended up getting the mirror of Irised from Target and you can kind of see what is that? Is that Andrew's bookshelf? You can kind of see my filming setup, I think. So I got the mirror of Irised, which I'm going to set up on my desk. I think it is so pretty. I was really, really excited to get this, and it's a lot more economical than the Pottery Barn Teen version, which is like super expensive. This one I got at Target, and I think it was like $40. Unfortunately, it was one of the last ones that they had in stock, so I was just checking the website every day, and I got lucky. So you might want to do the same if you're in the market for a mirror of Irised. And then lastly, I got... Harry Potter Trivial Pursuit, the ultimate edition, because I have the little like wedge game, but this one is actually like a full board and it's really beautiful and I really love the pieces that you use to play. Andrew and I actually played the game together last night. I won. He is Gryffindor and he played as a Hufflepuff because he told me that if he beat me, it would be that much more humiliating if I got beaten by a Hufflepuff, which disagree, Hufflepuffs are awesome, but I showed him. I beat him. So we're all good here. This Ravenclaw won. But I'm just going to show you like the pieces that you use to play. So this is our board. And just like Trivial Pursuit, there are different colors and different categories that you can get questions in. I'm actually thinking of doing a video, maybe playing this game with Andrew or something. Um, I did do a video playing the smaller version with Monica from She Might Be Monica. That is an old video so you'd have to go back to find that one but this is the new new pretty version and there are like 1800 questions I believe and then these are the little game pieces so here we've got Ravenclaw and here we have got Slytherin and then we've got Gryffindor and we have got Hufflepuff then if you see how they have these little slots that's actually where you put the pieces of pie that you win as you get questions correct and just like Trivial Pursuit you have to collect all of the colors and then you have to land exactly on the center circle within the middle of the board and answer a final question there and the other player chooses which question to ask on the card so it's always going to be the hardest one. And this is the back of the board game which I guess I could have shown it to you that way as well but better to see the real thing. <laughs> Those are all of the Harry Potter things that I have gotten recently. I know I've gotten other things since my last Harry Potter haul because the last one I did was like super long ago but these were just like three things that I got within the past week actually that I was really excited about and wanted to share with you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon in a new one. Bye!